Welcome to the Command for Fun training program, Module 1, Planning and Organization. My name is Aideen Howlin and I am the Participation and Retention Coordinator for the Camogie Association. This training program is designed to provide support to you or your club in creating a positive experience for teenage girls. This training program is split into three modules, covering planning and organization, which we will tackle today, communication with young players, which is next, and lastly, using small-sided games. This module is going to take a look at the elements which contribute to the planning and organization of Come On For Fun. We're going to discuss how to gather support from your club executive, what a Come On For Fun coordinator should look like, the resource tools to help with the organization, and the administration required for Command for Fun. There are four intentions of learning from this module. How to get support from your club executive, establishing a suitable coordinator, understanding of administrative requirements, how to use the planning and organization templates. One of the steps to aid Command for Fun is making sure the club members and club executive are on board with the idea and are open to facilitating youth members to stay involved. On screen now are some tips to think about to help establish the need for Come On For Fun in your club. Get some feedback from around the club, team mentors, underage players, etc. Have they noticed youth members dropping off or a gradual disengagement from the game? Try and gather some information from these members and see what the interest in Come On For Fun would be like. What are the numbers of youth members like in your club right now? And those numbers coming up behind? How many 14 to 18 year olds are in your catchment area? Is there a big gap between these two numbers? And could engagement with this group be improved? Try your best to make sure that all the information gathered takes in the opinions of as many members as possible. This feedback and support from club members joined with the data from the registration system should encourage the club executive to consider come on for fun for the betterment of the club. Who might be the right fit for the job? One thing to keep in mind is coordinator, coordinator, coordinator. Our aim is to try and create an environment which moves away from the idea of additional training sessions with coaches present. The role of the coordinator focuses on facilitation of the session rather than controlling the direction of it. On screen you will see a suggested list of attributes to look out for in a potential league coordinator. This person should have two-way communication and speaks and listens clearly has a knowledge of Komogi and helping young people through the game, is enthusiastic about involving young people in something new, and most certainly has patience. Someone who recognises that a change may bring positive increases within club membership, but it won't happen overnight. New retention initiatives don't run perfectly. It's all about trial and error. As with any activity associated with underage members, anyone involved must have a valid guard of vetting and safeguarding one course completed. Having a Foundation Coach Education Award may be an advantage, but it is not essential. Again, think coordinator more so than coach. The list of suggested attributes is not exhaustive. Try to find someone with the skills to suit your members and your club needs. Administration is something we can't get away from, unfortunately. Hopefully the breakdown of the administration into smaller parts will aid the club and the league coordinator in completing these tasks. The Command for Fun resource booklet is the go-to guide for this initiative and it is available on the Komogi website. As well as this booklet, all of the documents mentioned from here on are available online under the Command for Fun Coordinators Pack banner. As we move through the module, you will see an example of each document. So let's break things down into before, during and after Command for Fun. Before beginning, it is recommended you have a good read of the Command for Fun resource booklet to ensure this initiative is suitable for your club and its members. It is also a good idea to think about how best to promote this initiative. Think about who you are looking to have involved. Do posters need to be designed? Do social media posts need to be created? Before we get started, we have to be very clear on a couple of things, and one of those is safety. At least three weeks prior to starting Come On For Fun, your club must submit their intention to organise and complete and return the club checklist. This document is required in order to comply with GAA public liability cover. The vast majority of clubs will have all the necessary items already in place, so this document is just to double check and be sure. The same is to be said for the participation waiver. 
Any participant wishing to take part, be they a club member or not, must sign this document. As the targeted age group are under the age of 18, it must be a parent or a guardian who signs on the participant's behalf before taking part in Come On For Fun. So now all the before pieces are in place. What happens when Come On For Fun is started? It is important to keep an attendance record of everyone who participates in Come On For Fun. This is important for GEA Public Liability Insurance, but more so it will allow the club to identify those who have taken part, to celebrate their achievement and hopefully see them continue returning to the club in the future. Gathering feedback is a vital element of this initiative. It is an excellent way to engage with the participants and create a sense of connection and confidence. Feedback can be collected verbally, using a flip chart or any method that suits the coordinator and their participants. As with any new idea, feedback is the fuel that leads to learning and developing towards best practice. Take the time, even five minutes, to reflect each week. So now you've come to the end of the initiative and everything has gone to plan. Is there anything left to do? The coordinator and the participants have put a load of work into this initiative over the last few weeks. So tell me about it. Once the Come On For Fun initiative has finished up, a short online report will be forwarded to the league coordinator. Here is a small sample of the questions to be answered. You have reached the end of Module 1, Planning and Organisation. I would like to thank you for your time and attention. Please make sure to have a look through the Come On For Fun resource book and coordinators pack. Look out for Modules 2 and 3 coming soon.